Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make a very simple uh, lunch for my family. And this is actually a very commonly found street food called Yi Lou Mi Fen or Yi Tou Mi Fen, meaning literally translated as uh, fish bee hoon soup. Yeah, fish. Bihun soup and usually the soup is a sourish flavor. So let's take a look at the ingredient. First of all, how do you make the the soup savor um, uh, sourish? It is actually using this uh, here, this one here, which is the pickled veggie, the xin choy. Okay, this is the xin uh, xin choy, and this and then we have uh, some tomato chunks. Yeah, small chunks. And um, the the soup base, I'm actually going to use a chicken stock. And today, Appa is going to use my uh, cooking Appa 100% nature premium chicken stock powder. Finally, after available after 10 months of R and D and testing. <laughs> if you want to buy, you can go online to Shopee and search for uh, chicken powder. Uh, I will, it's actually available on both Malaysian and Singapore Shopee. All right. And um, I will also put the link in the video description. Very easy to use. I'll show you how to use it later. And to make the soup also, uh, we have some um, ginger slices and chili. And of course, you will need some bihun. Yeah, bihun. Uh, somebody told me they don't call this bihun, they call it mihun. Whatever. Malaysia is very commonly to be called as bihun. And here we have some, I have actually half of um, Siakap fish tail. This is a big shakak fish tail, about probably, probably about five six hundred gram. But only half of it. I slice out the meat and also cut out the bones. And later we are going to deep fry. Let's very quickly prep the fish. Uh, we are going to marinate the fish with some fine salt and few dashes of white pepper. Mix it out. And you prepare some rice flour at the side or corn starch will do or tapioca starch. So what you do here is you pick up the fish slices. Oh look at how fresh it is. Give it one uh, nice coating and let it rest at the side. And you want to do it the same with the fish bone as well. You're going to use medium high heat to deep fry the fish. Let's put in the fish. It will probably take less than 5 minutes. She's after about 1 minute. I will flip it over. You know, somehow in Kuala Lumpur, I've never seen any um, store selling this dish using siakap. They all use uh, song yi. That is the most uh, commonly found. And that one got a bit of problem. Very, very bony and also has the, a bit of earthy smell. Yeah, earthy flavor. I don't really like it. And some will give you garupa, which will end up too expensive. <laughs> I think siaka is just nice. That should give it, you know, give it some thought. Yeah, I'm going to get some siaka. Siaka is, uh, is my favorite. And when you uh, deep fry a big siaka, the crispy skin is going to taste like garupa. It's very, very nice. Yeah. Okay, it's definitely fully cooked. Now I just want to get the color I wanted. Wow, very crispy. Have you tried rice flour to uh, deep fry? Very crispy, you know. Give it a try. <laughs> okay, I think I have gotten the consistency I wanted. Ooh, very fragrant. I think even my four-year-old daughter will love this. Okay, so I get prepared some oil absorbing paper at the side. And then I'm going to take out it one by one. The smaller. Wow, look at this. Check it out. Preparing a chicken stock. And I'm going to make the chicken stock in two seconds. <laughs> okay, this is approximately 1.5 liter of uh, roughly la, aga aga, of uh, hot water. And I'm going to turn it to chicken stock. So this is my cooking appa 
100% natural chicken stock. I'm going to put in one teaspoon and two teaspoon. Good enough. As the soup base, immediately this becomes a very very fragrant chicken stock. Oh, I can smell it already. It, I wish you can smell this seriously. <laughs> I, you remember last time I always cook my chicken stock for one or two hours? Now, two seconds. <laughs> and it is 100% uh, zero MSG and no uh, preservative at all. Alright, so then the next thing we are going to put in the... This is the ham choy or shin choy. And also tomato. This is approximately one and a half piece of tomato. Why one and a half? Because I have half inside the fridge. <laughs> this is how uh, this is how we uh, home cook, prepare food, isn't it? We try to clear up the fridge. And this is a uh, ginger slices. I'll put a little bit of red chili here. And I'm going to bring this to a boil and let it boil for approximately five minutes. Then it's done so this is after cooking for approximately four or five minutes the flavor has already started to release and we are going to balance it with some uh, rock sugar okay probably about one to two tablespoons you can adjust yourself this is uh, evaporated milk put some at the bottom the fish broth we're going to put in the Cook bihun. Alright. I'm going to put in the fish. Few slices of chili at top. I'm going to put in some fried onion. And last but not least, let's sprinkle some spring onion on top. So my very simple version of uh, yeah, fish bihun soup is done. I hope you like my lunch today, <laughs> my family lunch. If you like my uh, family lunch, uh, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.